Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Kraus, bringing you the latest in the world of civic science news. Students across the country are releasing hundreds of research balloons during the total solar eclipse coming up on April 8th. These balloons have strings of scientific instruments attached to take atmospheric measurements that can only be done during a total solar eclipse. As the eclipse cools the air, it drags a shadow across the U.S. and provides a chance to learn about how heat moves through the atmosphere. Dozens of student teams are backed by NASA as part of the nationwide ballooning project, collecting valuable data but also training students at the same time to work in aerospace. Students run the launches, building hands-on experience and allowing them to collect data as part of this participatory science project. If you're interested in the science behind science communication, be sure to check out the latest edition of Swipe SciComm. The sixth edition of this digital journal has been published and has some fun articles like the science of science humor featuring an article that we discussed on the show. A reminder that using humor increased engagement, except for when discussing global warming. More complex or serious topics might require a lighter approach, like playful analogies rather than satire or wordplay. Check out articles like this and other articles such as space poetry, viral communication, science memes, and more. We've talked on the show about using poetry to convey the beauty of science. Are you feeling inspired? The brilliant Science Communication publication is hosting a science poetry competition that is now open to applications. All poems should be inspired by science. There are cash prizes and winning poems will be published in the brilliant publication. Applications will be accepted and they are open until June 21st. The PCST Global Network for Science Communication hosted a webinar on teaching science communication using participatory approaches. Learning from their own experiences with engaging with different publics, teachers are helping students engage with and shape their learning through experiential challenges. Check out these lessons and more below at the link in the description to watch this webinar. Thanks to the SciCommer newsletter for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition of the Civic Sci TV Newsroom. We hope to see you next time.